Oh god, this thing needs a car wash. Let's... Oh, fuck. I forget that I have to open it from this side. Jesus Christ. This is what I have to do, literally. I'm in the car today. It's Wonderless Mommy with another episode. We're switching things up a little bit today. I'm taking you guys to Walgreens. Why am I taking you to Walgreens? Well, if you saw my last video, I did a Jergens and a Banana Boat tanning lotion review. So I kind of wanted to do a review on the Bondi Sands. Finally, yes, uh -huh, I was saying it wrong. And I know that they sell it at Walgreens. So I wanted to do a review on that. But I also wanted to take you guys and show you the pricing and the different kinds that they have. And I honestly also want to take this time to say something else. With everything that's been going on, we're all feeling kind of blue. We've been kind of, you know, heavy hearted here. So I wanted to take this moment to kind of take advantage of the day and vlog and be true to what I want to do. Now, I'm doing these vi videos because I have a job. I am a mommy. I have a husband. I have a busy life. But I want to do this because it's my creative outlet. And I've been trying to find different ways of vlogging or doing the things that I like to do and I kind of put things into perspective yesterday and this morning and I wasn't feeling motivated and when I'm not feeling motivated in the past I've just either quit or I start procrastinating and doing other things but this is 2020 and we need to do things different. We need to have that mama mentality. We need to grind. So what I started doing was I started watching motivational videos. And to me, it's not your typical motivational video where someone gives a speech. It's videos about genuine people and people that, you know, do what they love to do and are passionate about it, even if other people doubt them and they they, you know, you can see the genuine in them. So that's what I was kind of thinking about. I started, you know, marinating ideas in my head. And I thought, you know, even if I do these review videos about the travel products that I love to use or product reviews, I want to do it in a vlog setting because I want to take you guys with me. And it's about that message that I also want to spread across here that we can all have our creative outlets. We can all do the things that we love to do and take advantage of the time that we have here on this earth if we really set our minds to it and really work hard and um, instead of managing our time we manage our focus so that's what I did today I got up this morning that's why I look fodonga again for all of you guys that don't know what fodonga is fodonga is it's like a Spanish word that we use or slang that we use for someone that puts their hair in a bun, doesn't care what they're wearing, is all like not smelly, but uh, you know, fodonga ish. That's another thing. I want to be true to everyone that watches this. I don't always get ready, and it's not because I'm lazy or it's because it's just not always my thing. I don't want to take that one hour to get ready. Um, sometimes I do, but I'm always running around, you know? So I just, for me, I, I just, you know, sometimes I look like this and that's why I put these glasses on because I don't know, that's the best I can do right now. And of course I always have to have my hoops. If you know me, you know, the bigger the hoop. Well, <laughs> I'm always going to be true to you guys. And if I feel like I'm I don't have makeup on or my hair is not ready and I'm still gonna film I'm still gonna film because that's my true self and I'm vlogging so anyways without further ado I'm gonna start driving because if not then I'm just like the weird lady that's like talking to herself in the car so I should try that. But it's six dollars here. Okay, 
so I'm walking back to the car. I just got the Bondi Sands. They had literally like two bottles left. And they said that they were gonna put more. But I just bought this one. Um, and then I will obviously show you guys more. Now I have to try to get into this freaking car that I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back home and no i'm not naked i have a towel i know that in the last video it looked like i was naked i'm not of course not um, but i wanted to show you guys um what i look like without anything i just exfoliated my skin like seriously it feels like i freaking scrubbed it with sandpaper but this is me that's why i'm a little bit red but um without anything this is after the first application i just applied it maybe like 30 minutes ago so it hasn't really set that much in I can, when I first applied it, I can immediately tell that um, it was darker. So it's not like one of those gradual lotions. This is like instantly you can see that um, it put some color in it. And then as it sets, you can tell a little bit less, but I can tell that it has gotten me instantly darker. Now I am going to apply it another time because it says that if you want a deeper darker lasting tan you can apply it 30 minutes after your first application and then i'm going to wait a couple of hours it says for the deeper tan wait six hours okay so this is after the second application um when i waited the 30 minutes of the bondi sands and i can definitely tell for sure that I am darker, um, especially after the second application. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe it just doesn't transcend as well. The lighting, I don't know. But um, I am really liking this. It's giving me, um, so far, that dark tan that I get in the Caribbean. As far as a smell, um, so far, it does smell like a tanning lotion. Um, your kind of like your typical tanning lotion, actually. It has a little bit more of, honestly, this is going to sound funny, but it's like, smells kind of like the um, Malibu rum. I don't know, like a mixture of coconut and alcohol. So that's what it smells like to me. It's not bad. Um, it feels good on your skin. Like, it doesn't feel itchy or hot. It just feels like you just have a nice tan. So I'm going to actually wait for it to set for about six hours. I might even go to sleep with it before I rinse it off. And I'm gonna show you guys after when there's like more sunlight, that way you guys can see it and then give you guys a review of it. Um, but so far, I really like this product. And it's, I mean, I'm not, I spent $24 on it, but I, I really don't regret it because I'm feeling extra glowy. Good morning. So it's the next morning of the Bondi Sands review. And um, I wanted to show you guys today because I left it on for six hours. I just decided to see um, what happened if I left it on for the maximum amount of time. So I rinsed it off with warm water last night and then I pat dry. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Look at me. What do you say? What do you say? I definitely, definitely, definitely love it. Um, it gives me that tannish like finish where it looks like I just came back from the islands. It's not orangey at all. I don't know if it transcends orangey on screen, but um, this is what it looks like. And mind you, I literally put very little on my face because I don't know, I was just paranoid. So any excess that I did have, I kind of put it on my face. Um, after I washed it, I wanted to see if I could still smell that coconut, well, kind of like I said, like that Malibu rum smell on my skin. And I can say that after I washed it uh, with warm water, I could not smell anything. I could not smell anything. Now, this morning when I woke up, it's a different story. This morning when I woke up, I did smell like that tanning lotion. And it wasn't bad though, because it smells like coconut. One thing is that I did notice it does transfer onto clothes majorly. So specifically tight clothes. I wore very loose clothes last night to sleep, but it got transferred onto my underwear a lot before I washed it off. If you're going to wear clothes afterwards while it, you let it dry, I would say wear darker clothes or wear very loose fitting clothes. Moisturize around your elbows, 
especially like your ankle and your feet area if you are going to put it on your feet your hands um i made the mistake hmm. okay here's a little side story i'm a cheap ass so i don't want to spend the six dollars on the mitt so i made my own mitt with um these mitt this mitt that i have that i got at the do dollar store and i put like another glove underneath well it's still transfer girl it still did and that's after exfoliating so it's very strong on like the hands and it, it's a matte finish so i would say just get the mitt or find something really thick and even with the mitt though like there was no streaks so i mean that's pretty good so even though i made my own little mitt because i'm just cheap but i think i'm gonna go get the the mitt one thing that i love about this product that i'm super surprised about because all of the other um instantly ta instant tan lotions pretty much streak and i just hate that orangey streak around i don't know like areas like this uh your underarms and stuff this doesn't streak at all it's just a very nice spray tan finish another thing i love about this product is that i do not feel itchy or hot after i apply it um most tanning lotions for some reason especially if you have sensitive skin they make you feel itchy or hot for a little bit even orangey color or not even a gold color i didn't want necessarily that gold color i just like being like that glowy look like i just came back from tulum like cancun you know and i was out there for like two weeks i just and that this is the color that i get i mean i get darker than this but this is just like a start so i don't get that orangey and there is a gold hue if you would like that i know they just didn't have it at walgreens yesterday and i believe that one's a little bit more expensive i think that's 29 I haven't tried it i can if you guys want to but i wanted something a little bit more matte and this is perfect smooth after wash so it doesn't like leave your skin dry it does moisturize it it feels soft now today obviously i would probably moisturize a little bit it's just it looks like a spray tan honestly and that's why i would say that i would definitely recommend this and i actually love this product and i would buy it again and there's still a lot left after the two applications so i could still probably get a lot more applications so that's why i would say this is worth it i know that it's more expensive than your average budget tanning lotion that you get at the drugstore because you can technically get this at Walgreens, a drugstore. The price of the $24.99, I thought that was going to be a little bit high, but after the result, it is worth it, especially if you want that spray tan look for a minimal price because each spray tan is going to cost you upwards of $40. That's pretty cheap. So considering that, if you can get multiple spray tans from this, and you know even splurge on the six dollar mitt then you're gonna get more for your money okay i wanted to show you guys the texture so this is the self tanning foam in dark okay and i believe they have ultra dark so i wanted to try that one but i wanted to show you guys here how it comes out just a little bit the consistency it comes out dark so um and pretty foamy i find that the foams are a little bit easier to put on than like the oils or the sprays just because you can see it better and this one is easy and smooth to put on that's another thing that i love because it's pretty dark and you can see where you're putting it on and where you're missing and yeah pretty much i am loving this uh this is definitely gonna be um, one of the products that i use to prep when i go on vacation i might be taking a birthday trip um in march i am an aries for all you aries out there <laughs> um but yeah i would recommend this product if you like this video you would like to see any more product reviews about any more things that i prep for traveling or that I use to make life easier any of you guys that have kids and travel with kids i have a lot of products that i would recommend that you wouldn't even think of and i didn't even know of so anyways if you like this video um leave a comment down below give it a hug um please subscribe like i said i put all my love and effort into these so please please subscribe and i know it's been a rough week for all of us but i just want to leave you guys with this um like kobe said mamba mentality remember that and have a great rest of your week Love you guys.